I think people don't understand how how hard it is because of the biology of sugar. Yeah, right? it's not a moral failing, right? It's not that you're weak willed, but yeah. you cannot overcome your biology with willpower. It no. will fail every time. Yeah. So you have to use science, and the science of sugar is fascinating because it 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 not only drives uh, mechanisms that make you gain weight because it produces more insulin, so it stores belly fat. Yeah, it makes you hungry. It slows your metabolism and it locks the fat in the fat cell, so it can't get out. It's like a one-way turnstile. Wow. Like in the some way, mm-hmm. can't get out. And <clears throat> and when you look at the biology on the brain, it's even scarier. So in really well-controlled studies, they've shown that by looking at brain imaging and blood tests. Eating the exact amount of calories, protein, fat, carbs, and fiber in a shake, like a milkshake, they just swapped out the level of the kind of carbohydrate so that one raises your blood sugar a lot and one doesn't. It's like a slowly digested starch. When they did that, they found that the brain imaging showed that the addiction center, which is stimulated by heroin or cocaine or whatever, gets lit up like crazy by the sugar and their insulin goes up, their blood sugar goes up, their adrenaline goes up. So sugar causes your adrenaline to go up, your cortisol, which is the stress hormone. So it literally creates a biologic stress. And for those worried about coronavirus, one of the most important things you can do is cut out junk food and sugar because it suppresses your immune system. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So Keegan, you were eating a lot of sugar. Yeah. And you were getting sick all the time. All the time. It wasn't a coincidence. (laughs) 